it's dense, it's salty, it's Philadelphia, man. Today we are in the historic capital of America, Philadelphia. It often gets overlooked by its neighbor, New York, which is very shiny and glimmery, and then DC because it actually has a lot of the artifacts. But this is actually the birthplace of America. It was the capital from 1790 all the way to 1800, and behind us is Independence Hall, birthplace of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, easily two of the most important documents in all of US history. Let's check this city out. Okay, but we will tour the Independence Hall later. First, we are going to the Italian Market Street to check out some lunch. Yeah. Okay, so we have finally made it to the Italian Market Street. Apparently, it is America's oldest and continuously operating street or like outdoor market. What? I know, really We've cool. We've been to a lot of outdoor markets yeah. in the past six months over 18 different countries. It's gonna be interesting to see how America stacks up. <laughs> keep walking the produce keeps getting cheaper it's just crazy it's so much cheaper than the grocery store I wish we had something like this Definitely. back where we live of course it's more expensive than like the Asian markets we've of been course. going to but like this would be a great place I wish they had places like this all over the country We got the classic Philly cheesesteak whiz with, which means whiz cheese and with onions. You have to order it a certain way or they'll be like, what, you ordered it wrong? We can't give you a sandwich. Anyway, mm. greasy, cheesy steak heaven. All right, so now we have a cat steak and there is a price difference. Cheese steak with onions is $11. Gino's is only $10. So that's worth mentioning. Whoa. Slow motion cheese. Mm. You know? I will say. The way it's obviously tastes the same. Grilled onions are pretty much exactly the same. The steak is a little less seasoned, but the bread, I, in my opinion, is a lot better. It's easier to actually bite into, and it's fluffier. This, it, I, you know, I'm just putting it out there. Pats might be better than Gino's. This is where you need to come if you want to get a really good cheese steak. Okay, so we have walked uptown and just made it to City Hall, which used to be the biggest building in Philadelphia. However, apparently skyscrapers were allowed to be built and it is no longer the biggest building. But yeah, apparently there was an ordinance that you weren't allowed to build taller than City Hall. Apparently this is the tallest statue on top of a building in America. Okay, Leah's 
got a spot for us in the park at Crossman City Hall, so we are taking our turnover outside. Okay, so I just made a discovery. They cook the entire apple. They slice out the middle and then cook the whole apple, not sliced, and then add this dumpling around it that's like cooked in a pan specifically made for this apple dumpling. I've never seen anything like this. Now we have made it to Elfrith Alley, which dates back to 1702. There are 32 homes on this street, and it is the oldest continuously inhabited street in all of America, and it is absolutely adorable. Adorable. We've just come down the hill from Elspeth Alley. We are now at the Cherry Street Pier, which right now is pretty dead because it's not nighttime. But this place gets really hot in at nighttime with the shipping containers as art studios, and the rest of the place functions as an open bar. You can go out to the edge and look at the bridge and the river, and that's what we're gonna do right now. End of the Cherry Street Pier is the Ben Franklin Bridge. Built in 1922. That's almost a hundred years old. building when it was constructed back in the 1700s and behind me is where the Pennsylvania Supreme Court met originally and they cleared out the space so that the Constitutional Convention could come in here and change the entire government. So we are in the room where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were signed. Behind me is the chair that George Washington sat in and when the National Park Service guy told me that he smoked in my entire body. It is so surreal to be in a room full of so much history. So cool. That wasn't on the list of things that we thought we were going to do, visit Independence Hall. I'm so glad we did. Wasn't that so worth it? It really was. It was worth getting there a little bit early to get the free <laughs> ticket and everything. And it was air I just learned so much. Yeah. A boy just threw it in my mouth. <laughs> We just ran up the rocky steps and that concludes our Philadelphia vlog. It has been an amazing day surely has. in this beautiful city. Yeah. Okay, right here. Right here. Okay. 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 
Okay. I'm going to say, we just came from, you're going to say whatever the name of the place that we just came from. It's going. Elsworth? 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 It's going. Elsworth? Shall I stop it? Nope. New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah.